There's a design trend that's blowing up right now, and this can be combined with so many different niches and products. That trend is multi-pattern text designs like this best-selling sweatshirt that sold six times in the last 24 hours. Designs like these are selling like crazy right now, particularly on t-shirts and sweatshirts with many new designs becoming best sellers in their first month. So let's do product research to identify best sellers that you can use as inspiration to create original designs for your niche. And then I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can quickly and easily create this text effect so you can capitalize on this trend to make more sales and grow your brand. Also, be sure to watch until the end where I'll show you how to quickly and easily create multiple variations of your designs in seconds. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Adrian, a self-employed entrepreneur who's generated multiple millions in sales across two apparel brands, and I help people make money online with Shopify and Print On Demand. My goal is to create the most positive and supportive community of Print On Demand sellers here on YouTube. So if that's you, join us by subscribing and interacting in the comments. Let's start by hopping into Etsy to conduct product research. Now, this particular trend is a little bit tricky to search because I don't actually know of a common name for this text effect that's easily searchable. Luckily, I've noticed that it's very popular right now with a lot of fall and Thanksgiving inspired designs. So I'm gonna run the search fall shirt. Right away at the top of the search results, we can see a number of best-selling and popular now designs with that multi-pattern text effect. At the very top of the search results, we can see this best-selling fall t-shirt here, which is only one month old. Here we can see another popular now cozy season sweatshirt. This one's actually 14 months old. And surprisingly, it's estimated to be making 515 sales per month, according to Everbe. This popular now shirt here is only one month old. This popular now t-shirt here is only three months old. But let's actually go ahead and filter this search by bestseller. To do this, just tap show filters under item format, select physical items only, and then under Etsy's best, select star seller. From here, we're just gonna go to the URL and I'm just gonna change the word star to best. For some reason, Etsy doesn't offer a best seller filter option, even though with this little hack, you can still filter by best sellers. Here we can see a number of best-selling and popular now products, particularly t-shirts and sweatshirts. And notice that this trend is actually being blended with a lot of different niches. For example, we have the nurse niche here, we have the mom niche, and here we have the teacher niche. I always recommend blending current design trends with your particular niche. This is a super powerful sales strategy since it allows you to capitalize on the trend while creating differentiated products, meaning way less competition and products that are hyper relevant for your target audience. To get a quick sales snapshot and to see which of these products are selling best, let's use Everbee to view the product analytics. Everbee is one of my favorite research tools because it allows you to quickly find winning products and see what's trending with real sales data. You can try Everbee for free by clicking the link below this video or get a special offer on the growth plan, which is what I use. So I've sorted by estimated monthly sales and I'm really just gonna focus on the multi-pattern text designs. Check out some of these sales numbers. This cozy season sweatshirt here is estimated to have made 515 sales and $9,000 in revenue in the last month. We can see that the growth rate has dipped by 10%, but still those are some very strong sales numbers. And check out this multi-pattern text pumpkin t-shirt. Estimated to have made 345 sales and $7,500 in revenue with a 1,000% growth rate. And check that out, it's only two months old. This pumpkin season shirt here is estimated to have made 81 sales and $1,700 in revenue in the last month with a 100% growth rate. And this one's only three months old. Let's actually go ahead and take a closer look at this one. And then we're gonna reverse engineer the virality of this t-shirt. Here we can see that this shirt has the best seller badge and it's in over 20 carts. Aside from the design itself, which is usually the number one reason a t-shirt like this sells, there's a number of elements here that are likely contributing to its success. One is that it's featured on a Comfort Colors t-shirt, which are really trendy right now. The featured image is also on this espresso color, which is actually one of the best selling colors of this shirt right now. This is also clearly a fall inspired design, which a lot of people are buying. 
and notice that they're using this trendy flat lay mock-up, which you can purchase on Etsy and use for your designs. All of these different details combined enhance the product and contribute to sales. Next, let's use Everbee to analyze this listing further. Here we can see a bunch of sales data, and I really like to view this trends graph here for any listing over one month old. It's gonna give us a quick snapshot of sales over time so that we can see how it's been trending. And check this out, since this was listed, it's estimated to have made 202 sales, $4,400 in revenue, and has an 8,100% growth rate. And look at this trends graph. We can see that it started taking off really early and sales continue to remain high. All right, now that we know that multi-pattern text designs are trending and we've seen lots of sales validation, let's create a t-shirt for this trend in two steps. Step one, let's create a design. I'm gonna hop into Kittle to create this design, which is one of my favorite design tools. And I do wanna mention that there are actually a few different ways that you can create these multi-pattern text designs in Kittle, but I'm gonna show you a quick and easy Kittle hack that I think a lot of people don't actually know about. From here, the first thing I'm gonna do is tap new project in the top right. Next, I'll tap custom artboard. And on the right hand side, I'm gonna set the dimensions to 5,000 by 5,000. From the blank canvas, tap the illustrations icon on the left side menu. And I'm gonna go ahead and select show all masks. This will bring up a ton of different shapes that you can actually drag pictures into. But because I'm specifically looking for letters, I'm gonna go to the search box and just type in letter masks. From here, I'm just gonna pick the letters that I wanna use and I wanna spell out the word mama. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab those letters. Once you've grabbed the letters that you wanna use, you can just go ahead and resize this so that it fits well on the artboard. Next, let's go ahead and add patterns into each of these letters. There's so many places that you can go to find patterns for your design, but for this particular example, I'm actually gonna use Kittle AI to generate four different patterns for me. To do that, just tap the Kittle AI icon I'm gonna make sure that Nano Banana is selected. And then all you need to do here is input a prompt to generate the first pattern. For the first pattern, I just said create a brown plaid print illustration. I'll go ahead and tap generate image. And within about 15 seconds, Kittle AI created this brown plaid print illustration. Next, I'll just go ahead and continue generating more pattern designs. All right, so I went ahead and generated three more patterns here. And I'll just click on each one so you can see the exact prompts I used. To see your prompts, just click the design. And then in the top right, you'll actually see the prompt. So I just said, create a cheetah print illustration. For this next one, I just said, create a muted orange plaid print illustration. And for the fourth one, I just said, create a fall inspired floral print illustration. Now that I have the four patterns that I wanna use, all you need to do is select each pattern and then just drag it onto the letter. I'll drag the cheetah print onto the A here, the plaid print onto the M, and then this floral print onto the A. And check that out. Now we have each pattern inside the text. You could actually go ahead and add any other design elements in here, but I actually really like how this looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. To download the design, just go ahead and tap the export button in the top right, and then I'm gonna download this as a PNG with a transparent background. By the way, you can try Kittle for free by clicking the link below. And if you wanna upgrade your subscription, make sure you use code ADRIANYT for 25% off. Also, I've included links below for all of my favorite print-on-demand tools, along with any free trials, discounts, or special offers. Thanks for using any of those links. Sponsors and affiliates support this channel at no extra cost to you and allow me to create more free content like this, which I hope you're loving as much as I love creating. Step two, let's add our design to a trendy t-shirt. To create our shirt, I'm gonna use Printify. This is one of my favorite print-on-demand companies because it has over 1,000 products to sell, low production costs, and production partners all around the world. You can use Printify for free by clicking the link below and get 30 days of free premium membership with code ADRIAN30, which gives you a discount of up to 20% off of most products in the Printify catalog. In Printify, I'm just gonna tap catalog. Under women's clothing, I'll select t-shirts. And from here, I'm gonna select this best-selling comfort colors tee. From the editor, the first thing I like to do is make my color selection. So I'll just tap this edit tools icon in the top right, select variants. And then from here, you can choose whichever colors you want. For this example, I'm just gonna go with the trendy color espresso, which was on that bestseller that we were looking at earlier. Once you've made your color selection, you can just drag your design onto the mock-up. From here, you can adjust the sizing and the placement of the design. To see a more realistic image of the shirt, just tap preview. Here I can see how it looks on the Printify mockups. And here's how the design looks like on a trendy mockup that I purchased from Etsy, which was the same one as the bestseller we were looking at earlier. To go to the mockup library, just go ahead and tap the save product button in the bottom right. Here in the mockup library, you can see all the different mockups provided by Printify. You can upload your own. 
Or if you have a Placeit account like me, you can create Placeit mockups. Personally, I don't love the mockup options provided, so I prefer to go ahead and create my own mockups and then upload them. Once you've selected your mockups, just go ahead and tap the Save Selection button. Lastly, I'd fill out the listing details here and then have Printify automatically publish this to my Shopify store where I would market and sell this to the mom niche. And now for the bonus tip. If you're like me and you like to remix or create multiple variations of your designs, you can do this quickly and easily in Kittle. For example, let's say I wanna add a white border around each letter in this design. All you need to do is tap Artboard, select Smart Board, and then input a prompt with Kittle AI. So I just said add a white border around each of these letters. I'll tap generate. And just like that, now we have a white border around our design. Now let's say we wanna add some additional elements to this design. I'll select the smart board and then add a smart board and input a new prompt. I just said add white minimalist sparkles around the design. Tap generate and check it out. In seconds, we have a design with sparkles. From here, you could just continue creating variations of this design. But let's say now we wanna remix the design and create a version for Christmas. To do this, I'm just gonna select the original artboard, add a smart board, and then on the right-hand side, input a prompt. I'm gonna go with a really simple prompt and just say, make it Christmas themed. Check that out. In a matter of seconds, we were able to remix this design and create this super cool looking Christmas design. Seriously, how good does that look? One of the many things that I love about Kittle Flows is that you're really only limited by your imagination. From here, I could continue remixing this design for a whole bunch of different special occasions. I truly feel like we are living in the golden age of design creation. It's never been faster or easier to design, create, or edit high quality, realistic images for print on demand products. If you're enjoying these trend alert videos and you wanna see more like this, comment the word trends below so I know to keep them coming. As always, I've created a bunch of free resources which you can find below, including a link to my free on-demand training where I reveal the exact sales and marketing strategies strategy that I use to generate multiple millions in sales across two apparel brands with Shopify and print on demand.